Hello and welcome to Brawl Jewel. This time we have the corners of Skyrim. The mod adds seven new and unique locations to Skyrim in an attempt to fill a few of the more emptier spaces around the world, or just to give you a place to rest, take in the view, or search for loot. The different places include a mixture of towers, camps, houses, and ruins. And in the video, we're only going to be showing you five of the seven locations, just so there's something left for you to explore for yourselves. One of our favourites is called Plain Watch, which can be found just to the north of Riverwood. It's a small watchtower built by the Imperials to keep an eye on both Riverwood and Whiterun. Inside, there's a bedroll and some basic storage, and on the roof you have an amazing view of both towns. In the comments section of the mod, a few people have noted conflicts with certain mods, including Fleetford and the East March Ranger Cabin. So if you have those installed and want to try out the corners of Skyrim, then be sure to uninstall them beforehand. The mod also comes with two versions, one that comes with NPCs and one that doesn't. The NPCs are very basic, but it would still help explain for example why there's a random camp near a swamp. Which brings us on to another great location called Greyfall, which can be found just to the right of the abandoned prison. Greyfall is a small shelter with a wooden structure that stands over the water. It features a very small indoor area with basic storage, and a place to cook outside where you also get a great view of the surrounding swamp. The two locations we aren't going to show you are called Ghost Rise Hearth, that can be found just to the right of Falkreath, and Twins Rest, which can be found just to the right of Solitude. So if you have a chance to check out the mod, then let us know what you thought of those two locations down below. And overall, the corners of Skyrim are a very nice little time waster, and exploring and finding new locations was always a big part of playing Skyrim for us, so we think the mod's definitely worth a go. And that's the end of today's spotlight. Remember to leave an endorsement if you enjoy an author's mod, and thanks for watching.